Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today's card we are making a new baby card and we're using this product here. This is a little bundle from Creative Craft Products. You get the stamp set, you get a stencil and a coordinating die as well. The stamp set is so cute. You get this elephant and the bear with a balloon and then you get a few different images as well. You get the die, which die cuts are baby, girl and boy and then that bunting as well. And then you've got that really lovely little stencil there, which has got... Um, the items the only thing I'm not going to be using is the uh, stencil today um, I'm going to be creating a background with a different stencil and then um, stamping the uh, elephant and the uh, balloon if I can get my words out so uh, me and my husband have just um, become an auntie and uncle uh, so this is our first uh, time uh, so we've got a little nephew now which I'm really really excited about so I wanted to create a card and this item I'm pretty sure this one's been out of stock for a little while on the craft stash website um, but it has come back into stock now which I will leave a link to in the description box down below so I'm going to be creating a super cute card I've gone for some greens on this card rather than kind of the traditional blues so I started off by stamping like I said that balloon and the elephant with some memento tuxedo black ink because I'm going to be coloring this in with alcohol markers and I've stamped that onto some Nina uh, cardstock, some Nina white cardstock and we're just going to use, these are the prism uh, alcohol markers that I'm going to be using and I'm using the cool grey tones. Um, so off the top of my head I think it's uh, CG1, 3, 4, 5 and 8 I believe. The first one I'm starting with here is the 8 um, for those real dark areas so I do use quite a few pens here um, and then I move into the uh, CG5 and I wanted to, because this is the only colour obviously of the, of the elephant, I wanted to colour this in um, really really nicely and kind of get everything um just perfect looking with a really great blend uh on this so i've gone down to cg4 now so i don't have um any of the cool grays or any of the grays really in the copic sketches uh, but these markers if you're looking for an inexp inexpensive marker uh these ones by hunky dory are great i will leave like i said a link to them in the description box down below i think you buy them in i want to say packs of 10 maybe um you can download a color swatch as well which i highly recommend because i tried to use the colors on the lids but it really didn't work for blending so i have a swatch sheet that i use to pick my blends uh and yeah they work great if you you want to um if you want to get into alcohol marker markers and maybe you don't want to spend out um for you know the copic sketches which can be really expensive this is a great option let me know maybe if you're interested in that let me know if you want me to create a video i did create a video on the uh, spectrum noir tri blend markers a long time ago um but yeah if you want to have a video about these prisms with the uh, swatch and everything leave me a comment down below and i can do that so i've just worked my way through when it came to coloring in the ears um I do remember now that I actually forgot to colour in the toenails of the elephant, um, but I do colour in the ears, but the colours I picked were too pink, um, so I ended up using kind of uh, one of the colours from Prism. I brought in, I think it was RV10 maybe from the Copic sketch, and then I went to a real pale uh, colour from the Prisms again, so I just sort of blended out that pink and then put it into the pale, which I think worked quite nicely. And then I just did a little spot on his cheek as well for a little bit of blush. And I think he is so adorable. Then I coloured in the balloon. So again, I'm just going with some Copic sketches. I think these are um, G020406 maybe, but please don't quote me on that. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave the, um, I'll write a note in the description box down below for the colours that I did use. And then I just use the coordinating dies to cut these two out. So this is going to be another relatively clean and simple card. So now I've got those kind of main elements together, we can start on the background. So I'm using this Heffy Doodle stencil here. This is called uh, Simple Sunburst, I think it was. And I thought this would be really nice to have the colour come in um, from the, the elephant. So I'm going to have the elephant kind of in that centre. And then we're going to just add the colour coming out. So I've got a piece of cardstock um, here. I'm pretty sure this is the multi-purpose from Crafters Companion. 
Canyon because uh, this is a slightly thicker card uh, just to make sure that we get a nicer smooth application and I've added my stencil near the bottom left corner and then I'm going to use some Distress Oxides to blend this so we've got Rustic Wilderness for the very centre and then we're going to blend that out to Twisted Citron again going for that green rather than kind of that traditional um, classic blue there I wanted to do something a little bit different so again very clean and simple here got the white space in there which I think it just looks really nice and then like I said you've got that elephant on there just in that centerpiece I think it looks really lovely and I just held that stencil down with some low tack tape that you put on the back. I didn't end up with the uh, Crafters Companion stick and spray. Sometimes I don't feel like I always need that, especially because I was just stenciling a small area. So I've got these new nesting dies by Creative Craft Products. Um, I've got the square and I've got the DL. And this is the filigree nesting dies. And I absolutely love this. The three cards I made on the same day all <laughs> used these uh, three... Um, style of nesting dies uh, so this filigree I absolutely love it I think it's really really elegant uh, I have actually ordered a couple more of these with some of their other crafting um, nesting dies because they were reduced the only thing I would say certainly with the squares is I had to get out my larger Gemini plates um, normally I use my Gemini Junior with my big Gemini Decker's machine, um, but it couldn't quite reach edge to edge. So I did end up pulling out my full A4 uh, plates. So do keep that in mind. I have been waiting for months and months and months now for the rest of the square nesting dies to come back into stock. Um, for whatever reason, they haven't been in stock for ages. Um, they do uh, plain, they do scalloped edge, they do torn edge, these new filigree ones. They do a stitched detail. Um, um, off the top of my oh and then they do the inverted ones so I bought a few of the inverted uh, scalloped edge ones as well which is really really beautiful but um yeah waiting for those and some of the circles to come in stock because I think they're just the basic items that we want in our craft room that really do elevate our cards and our projects by having you know just those extra little details whether it's like the details like this the scalloped edge the um uh stitched details in there as well um yeah I think it does just add something more interesting to your mats and layers but for this one yeah I did have to run it a few a few times um to get it all to die cut like I said I just ended up pulling out my larger plate and I die cut this from some black card stock originally I was going to do some um green mirror card a part of me wishes I had I was still really happy with how the card turned out but yeah maybe it would have been nice just to have a little bit of a shine on there so I'm going to glue this down onto my 6x6 card base just using some Nuvo adhesive here uh, and this fits perfectly. It goes up to 8x8 inches um, so all of these nesting dies are the super size ones so you get some really really big ones in there. Uh, you can make the card bases from these which I do quite often um, but you know you can come down in the sizes and get them to fit those pre-made cards. I then just trimmed down my white panel uh, so that fitted on um, to the I think off the top of my head this panel to fit that inside square was four and a quarter maybe something like that obviously you've got that bigger detail on there as well so you're going to come down a small size um, and then I just left a really small border um, from that black that you can see and again I'm just going to attach this uh, with glue as well uh, and then we can go ahead and pop our elephant on here now I did glue um I had a little bit of uh, glue on here uh, from where I detached the uh, balloon to the elephant's nose and unfortunately then when I was putting the foam tape on to my elephant uh a little bit of glue got stuck to its cheek um and it had ripped slightly and some of the green from the distress oxide had kind of gotten into that color and you don't really notice it to be honest um but it was quite frustrating I always find it a bit frustrating when you spend a lot of time on you know certain elements of your card and then you know sometimes it can end up getting ruined so what I'd recommend is uh don't do these things actually on the card move your card base out of the way um and just do it on your mat that's why we've got a mat down um you know to keep everything clean and tidy and things uh so I was a little bit annoyed about that but I just went back over it with the alcohol markers uh just to kind of dull out that green a little bit um and it was perfectly fine in the end so I'm just covering the back of this with some time for tea design uh foam tape here uh, so I want to get this nice and stable, I don't want anything moving around uh, and that's the point then where 
it got stuck on that little bit of glue just from where I'd, uh, like I said, attached that balloon. So once we've got all of the backing off this, we can add it onto our card. And again, he's going to sit right in the center of that sunburst. I don't use this stencil all that often. I think I've only used it a handful of times, but it is a really great sentiment. And using um, stencil, sorry, and using it in this way, I think it works quite nicely. So there you go. You can see that I'm just trying to cover that up a little bit. You may not be able to see it like how it is now but certainly um up close yeah some of that distress oxide just kind of got trapped uh on that uh cheek a little bit uh, so yeah a little bit frustrating but never mind so now we can do our sentiment so within the dye portion um you have got like i said the baby you've got boy and girl where you can die cut and then you do have um sort of other little sentiments in the stamp set so there's a few bundles of this there's this baby one there's a uh, like celebration one I think it is there's some which has got some swans uh, you have a new house one as well so if you're looking for a little bundle together again with that stencil um, the the coordinating dies with the, the other dies and then that stamp set as well these are really great little bundles so again I'll leave the link in the description box down below so I did die cut the word baby from for, from some fern green uh, cardstock and I'm just going to use this crafters companion fine um tipped glue bottle here this is I just decant some of the nouveau glue into this uh, certainly when I get to the bottom of my um bottles of glue where I find it more difficult to get it out um I do then just decant it into here uh just so I've got um I'm not sort of messing around with those big bottles kind of too much and then yeah I this was the second time in this day I'd stuck my card uh down the wrong way. I don't know why. Uh, obviously, I wasn't paying that much attention. Um, so I just cut off the uh, edge of it, um, and then I just glued it to a whole new card base. So the front of it is like is is two front steep basically. Um, but yeah, just always be careful to make sure you check where you're uh, sticking your bits down and make sure it's the right way. And I finished this off with some vintage Nouveau drops. This is the Regency Green, I think it was. And that is going to finish my card today, which I absolutely love. And I hope then uh, my brother-in-law loves it as well. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.